A diamond in the rough, Honduras, Central America's second largest country, dazzles visitors with its natural beauty and diverse wildlife. Nature lovers can explore idyllic Caribbean beaches, bird-rich lakes and jungles, and the undeveloped tropical rainforest of the Mosquito Coast, among many other attractions. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Honduras. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut to the chase. And at 10, Lancetilia Botanical Gardens. About 5 kilometers from the city of Tela, Lancetilia Botanical Gardens are the second largest tropical botanical gardens in the world. In 1926, the United Fruit Company established the gardens as an experimental site to test the economic viability of various fruit and hardwood trees. Today, the magnificent groves of trees from Central America and other tropical regions comprise part of a protected wildlife corridor along the country's north coast. More than 200 species of tropical birds have also made the garden home due to the abundance of fruit trees. Birders will be rewarded with many sightings as they wander along the well-marked trails through profuse plantings of palms, orchids and mango trees, among others. One particularly beautiful path leads through a tunnel of bamboo trees to a swimming hole in the Lancetilia River, a refreshing place for a cool dip after a long, hot walk. This is a place where it's definitely worth organizing a guided tour so you can learn interesting facts about all the different trees and plants in the garden. At 9, Chaos Cochinos. Also known as the Hog Islands, the archipelago of Chaos Cochinos is an undeveloped quintessential tropical paradise. This group of small, privately owned islands and cays lies 17 kilometers off the coast near the old banana port of La Caiba. The islands and the black coral reefs that surround them are a marine biological reserve and remain pristine due to their remote location and difficult access. A true back-to-nature experience, Chaos Cochinos offer excellent snorkeling, diving, hiking and bird-watching. Accommodation options include rustic eco-resorts as well as hammocks or huts at local Garifuna villages. The islands are accessible only by boat from La Caiba, Ruatan or Utila. At 8, it's Parque Nacional Genet Cawas. Formerly known as the Punta Sal National Park, this beautiful wilderness area is now named after the environmental activist Jeanette Kawas, who fought passionately during her life to preserve its rich ecosystems. The park stretches along a peninsula at the western end of the Bay of Tella and supports diverse habitats from tropical jungle, mangroves and wetlands to sparkling beaches and coral reefs. Wildlife is abundant and includes many rare species, Visitors may encounter dolphins, howler monkeys and a large variety of tropical birds including toucans, quetzals and motmots. The Mikos Lagoon has the highest population of birds in the area with up to 350 different species. Tour operators run day trips to the park from Teller which typically include a hike across the peninsula to a pretty beach, swimming, snorkeling or diving and an optional visit to the traditional Garifuna village of Miami on a picturesque beach and lagoon. Next up at 7, Lake Ujoa. Among the main road between Tegucigalpa and San Pedro Sula, Lago de Ujoa is the largest natural lake in Honduras and a haven for birders. More than 480 species have been spotted here, including whistling ducks, yes, believe it or not, northern jacanas and crakes. You can explore this shallow lake from shore or glide through the reeds in a canoe or kayak. Two mountainous national parks border the lake, Santa Barbara National Park on the northern shore and Cerro Azul Miambar National Park to the south. Other popular things to do in the area include hikes to waterfalls, exploring an underground cave system and tours of coffee plantations and archaeological sites. At 6, La Tigra National Park. About 20 kilometers from Tegucigalpa, La Tigra National Park is one of the most beautiful places to visit in Honduras. 
Perched at an altitude of 2,270 meters, this unspoiled park preserves a lush cloud forest that is home to ocelots, pumas and monkeys, although it's rare to see these larger mammals. This is one of the most visited parks in Honduras and offers a vision of how the area looked long before logging claimed much of the surrounding forests. The park is also a haven for birds. More than 200 species fit within its borders, including toucans, trogons and the elusive quetzal. Well-marked hiking trails wind through the thick forest where bromeliads and orchids flourish. Stop by the visitor's center at each entrance for maps and park information and to pay the admission fee. Guides can also be arranged here. And now at 5, Museum of Mayan Sculpture, Copan. At the Copan Ruins archaeological site, the superb Museum of Mayan Sculpture is an essential stop on any visit to the ruins. It displays a series of original pieces of sculpture, stelae and altars recovered from the site. The museum, which tunnels through a hillside before opening out into a vast sunlit open space, is best visited after touring the ruins to understand where the pieces on display originally belonged. The collection has a total of over 3,000 pieces of original Maya sculpture and carvings depicting spiritual entities, people and sacred animals like macaws and bats. There are also several buildings on site that were rebuilt from the pieces found in the nearby dig site. Undoubtedly, the masterpiece here is the full-sized replica of the ornate Rosalila temple discovered intact under structure 16 in the Acropolis. And now, at 4, Dolphin Encounter, Roatan Institute for Marine Sciences. On the northwest coast of Roatan, at Antony's Key Resort, the Roatan Institute of Marine Sciences offers an unforgettable dolphin experience. Best of all, it takes place in a natural lagoon, where the dolphins are free to swim around in a large area like they do in the wild. The center also educates locals and visitors about marine ecology. Besotted animal lovers can swim and snorkel with the dolphins, play simple games with them, participate in a dolphin specialty course, or enjoy a dolphin dive experience. Budding marine biologists can also sign up for the Dolphin Trainer for a Day program and perform their own dolphin show for their proud parents at the end. At 3, Utila Bay Islands. About 32 kilometers from the west coast of Roatan, Utila is the most budget-friendly of the Bay Islands. Backpackers flock to this small 13-kilometer long island and many visitors come here on affordable dive vacations. Presiding over an arching bay, Utila Town is the main settlement where locals compete fiercely over domino games and tourist shops and dive centers dot the streets. Save time to enjoy some fresh seafood and traditional Honduras cuisine at one of the funky waterfront restaurants here. Besides diving, most visitors bide their time basking on the two slivers of beach, snorkeling in the lagoon, zipping out to a sprinkling of caves off the island's southwest coast, and soaking up the rustic tropical vibe. You can also get up close to some of the island's wildlife at the Iguana Research and Breeding Station. Dive operators also offer the chance to dive or swim with whale sharks. These gentle giants are frequently spotted in the waters around the island, especially during March to April and August to September. And now at 2, Copan Ruins Archaeological Site. Copan Ruins Archaeological Site is the most studied Maya city in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dating back nearly 2,000 years, the society that lived here was highly stratified, deeply symbolic and focused on tradition. You will find plenty to appreciate here. The site is famous for the stelae and altars that are scattered around the immense plaza, most of which were erected during the years 711 and 736. Other highlights include the Bull Court, the Hieroglyphic Stairway, a unique temple which holds the longest known Mayan text, and the Acropolis, featuring superb carved reliefs of the 16 kings of Copan. About 1.6 kilometers from the central Acropolis, this Sepulturas archaeological site forms part of the PAC, Proyecto Archaeological Copan, and provides valuable insight into how the Mayan elite lived during the days before the collapse of Copan. While you're exploring the site, keep an eye out for the spectacular scarlet macaws flying among the ruins. 
After touring the ruins, don't miss the Museum of Mayan Sculpture, which displays impressive artifacts recovered from the site. Many visitors also like to stroll along the well-signed nature trails, where birds and butterflies dart among the thick foliage. Not far from Copan, El Puente is a smaller Mayan archaeological site on the Chinamito River with several pyramids that have been partially restored. And finally, at number one, it's Roatan Bay Islands. Roatan is the largest and most developed of the Bay Islands. Once a well-kept secret, it is now a cruise ship port and a popular vacation destination, especially for avid divers and snorkelers. A mountainous backbone undulates through the island's center and flourishing coral reefs fringe its shores, offering superb opportunities for diving and deep sea fishing. Even with the influx of travelers, Roatan's beaches are beautiful. One of the best strands is West Bay Beach. Although packed on cruise ship days, it ticks all the boxes with clear waters, snorkeling, swaying palms and plenty of shops and restaurants nearby. The small community of Sandy Bay is the cultural center of Roatan. Top tourist attractions here include the Roatan Institute of Marine Sciences with its popular dolphin encounters, Roatan Museum, the Carambola Gardens, a favorite with nature lovers, and the Roatan Marine Park with excellent snorkeling. Craving a cute animal encounter? I am. Head to Manawaki Park, where you can cuddle sloths and get up close to capuchin monkeys. Ah, as well as soak up a dose of Honduran culture. Gumbalimba Park is another haven for wildlife lovers with sloths and monkeys. You can also pose for a photo with colorful macaws and soar through the jungle on an exhilarating zip line. No thanks. Other top things to do in Roatan include visiting the environmentally friendly Blue Harbor Tropical Arboretum and the Butterfly Gardens. Tucked in tropical fruit trees, the garden spotlights butterfly species native to Honduras and the Bay Islands. French Harbor is Roatan's biggest fishing port and the economic engine of the island. A popular attraction here is Archie's Iguana and Marine Park. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Honduras. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time. Yeah.